Previously on the Presidential GM Mode series, after a four-month hiatus, the presidents returned to YouTube to begin another GM Mode series on 2K24. All three took part in the draft, picking 10 stars each for their shows. Before booking their first shows of the series, or at the end of it all, it was Donald who finished in first, whilst Obama found himself in last, quite the surprising outcome. Considering how Obama remained first throughout the entire 2K23 series, today. The presidents will book their next two shows. Will Donald keep his lead at the top? Or could Barack or Joe take that first place spot away from him? Either way, I couldn't care less. Hell, the only reason I'm even here is because the creator has decided that this will be my role on the channel going forward. A complete act of disrespect towards someone as smart as I. Well, whatever. Enjoy the video, everyone, for what it's worth. It's good to be back. Okay, it's imperative that I do my best to come back from what was a pretty underwhelming start from me last time. That being said, one of my biggest stars is already out of the equation in terms of wrestling on this show. Bobby Lashley already has a low stamina level, so he's going to be on promo talk for the next couple of weeks. On the bright side, it's time to get this Becky and Bianca rivalry started, since I turned Belair heel last time. Oh shit! I didn't mean to use that. I guess now JD is one of my most popular stars. To be fair, that does make sense. He is the main character of Minecraft after all which of course is one of the most popular games ever created. Anyways, I'm using the talent scouting system here to try and find an opponent for Braun Breaker to fill out the card. Otis could be pretty good here. But since I don't exactly have any long-term plans for him, I'm just gonna give him a short-term contract. I'll also sign Shotzi too, just to add a bit more meat to my currently very small women's division. Corbin wants a rematch against Orton. I don't see why not. I mean, it's Baron Corbin after all. Who could be a bigger draw than him? Let's make another title match between the two. We're also gonna have Seth and Bronson in a match together. Seeing as Seth is already a face, I don't have to book any role change promos for this rivalry. That's called foreshadowing. Okay, my original idea was for Cody and Gunther to be in a rivalry, but considering how Gunther is on low stamina, as well as a rivalry not being initiated oh. after their match in my first show, I'm gonna have to rethink this. Nakamura has become available through my talent scout system. So I'm going to sign him for a couple weeks whilst I make a decision on which way I want to go with Cody and the world title. Yes, yeah, sure, Jimmy. I'll allow you and Chad to cook again. Honestly, I'm feeling really good about my North American and main world title pictures. Obviously, it's because Theory is also champion, but yeah, I feel like I'm having a pretty good start so far. So let's keep this up. Let's make another NXT title match. I'm absolutely fine doing this as Knight is the only star in the game that I would be happy taking the title from the future of the industry. They both do it like the best, and it's obvious. I'm actually really glad that the boys didn't acknowledge my failed attempt at making a DIY rivalry. So we're just gonna bring the two back together and put them up against Dominic and Turo, who I've just signed. I figure they could make a pretty good team together until I can acquire other members of the LWO. Steve just can't seem to catch a break. Okay, let's stop doing this, guys. I actually went online to check what you guys were referring to. Are we really just referencing Minecraft in relation to JD because he has a big head? Yes, Joe. That's the whole damn point of the joke. But that's stupid. Let it go, Joe. It's not that deep. I'll take that. A very solid main It event. didn't take us long to get back to hot potatoing our titles, I see. It seems like you're sticking to real life here a bit, Donald. You've got the Judgment Day as tag champions, not to mention how Nakamura was Cody's last rival before his road to WrestleMania. Honestly, I'm not even thinking about that. But I mean, what I'm booking is working, and I'm sure my main event won't be any different. What the hell? <laughs> Stop laughing, Joe. How the hell could this have happened? Did you check that both men weren't heels? What do you mean? Seth's default crowd reaction in this game is as a face. Yeah, the modern day version of him is. But there's two versions of him in this game, and it looks like you signed the authority version of Seth since the word freaking isn't in his name. Wait. Oh, f I think you're right. Well, I can't lie. That just made my day. How about you shut up, Joe? You can't even make any of your women stars a damn champion. Crap, I forgot to make it a title match. The return of <laughs> Sleepy Joe, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of your women's champion, Joe, it looks like I was right about Bailey and Zelina's match last week ending in a DQ as Knight won this week and yet didn't become the champion because there was no graphic. Good to have some confirmation of that at least. Oh my! Oh my lord, holy crap. Nah, God. screw this, we're taking another four month oh, break. Oh, screw off Trump, you literally used that in the first episode. You guys also said in that episode that I could never reach first place. As a punishment, you both owe me a trip to Dairy Queen. I'm fine with that. Hell, you know what, Trump? 
Your ice cream is also on me since I'll admit you did kind of get screwed over with the whole Seth Heal thing. As hungry as I am, Barack, I don't need your damn ice cream pity. Just get to booking your next damn show already. Jesus Donald can sure be an ass sometimes. Anyway, Montez, I'm more than happy to give you a rematch against Trick. I'm pretty sure his request will still count if he faces him in tag team action. Meaning I can just continue to build the Street Profits versus Mello and Trick rivalry up. I'm just going to take a wild guess and assume Becky will win against Bianca and get the title back. It may be hot potatoing, but it got me a four-star match between the two in my last show, so it's clearly working. Let's make sure Bobby is set for our first premium live event in a couple of shows by giving him a health spa card. We can then have Braun call him out in a promo to build the rivalry up further. And because I accidentally made JD one of my most popular stars, I think it's a safe bet that he and Santos can now cook as an opener or main event match. Popularity, of course, is one of the main factors on how well your match is going to do. There are some other factors this year as well, though. The biggest one, I think, would be the new level system. I'm sure you've noticed by now that every star has a number assigned to them. I believe the way it works is that the higher that number, the bigger draw that star is going to be. I'm sure someone in the comments will be able to correct me if I'm wrong, though. And you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and buy the concert hall. It should hopefully mean I get a little more profit coming my way. Also, I've gone ahead and signed a couple more women to the brand. One of those being the 2K legend, Josie Jane. I'm gonna turn her heel and let her cook in a rivalry with Shotzi. Now here's a quality of life improvement I can get behind. You now have more options when it comes to contract negotiations. As a man who created the art of the deal, having this concept improved from last year is a welcome change for me. As last year, you could only either accept their proposal or rebuttal with a smaller amount. So the situation with Seth has definitely set me back a week. I'd still be first right now if this version of Rollins was a face, meaning that match between him and Bronson would have cooked. I wouldn't call that a mistake though as I never make those. It's just a happy accident. Zoe is really letting me down with her stamina levels. So I'm gonna have to waste a health spot card on her so she's ready for the premium live event in a couple of shows especially since that show will indeed be hell in a cell. How is it that we're only three shows in and I'm already having stamina issues with my roster? Gunther and Ricochet both only have 42 stamina each. I swear if any of them get injured, I'm throwing Joe's ice cream in the bin when we go to Dairy Queen later. I won't lie, 2K, you've disappointed me. I feel like Chad's catchphrases should be included in his dialogue in this. Uh, thank you! Theory is gonna call out Knight whilst the Megastar recovers his stamina. We're also going to crown new tag team champions as DIY will take on Dominic and Turo for the gold. Oh yeah, and also we're finally going to crown a new women's champion too. Unless the match once again ends up in a disqualification. Knowing Donald he'll be praying as if he's Drew McIntyre for that to happen just because it would be funny to him. I mean, I guess he does need some laughs after screwing things up for himself just two shows in. In fact, I'm actually going to sign Donald to a contract just to get me some extra money through advertising promos. Holy hell, Steve, you did it. Trump seriously, the meme is stupid. Please just put a pin Wait in. a minute, how come his popularity skyrocketed? I accidentally used my to the moon card on him. That's fair. Minecraft is a popular game after all, so he deserves You just it. choose to not listen to me. Oh my God, you finally caught on. I understand why it took so long, though, given your old age and everything. Quit being an ass, Donald. Yeah, Donald, it's not our fault you didn't turn Seth face, which resulted in your show being screwed over. This is crap, man. You know what? I'll be the bigger man here. Donald, I know the feeling. If you remember, I did the exact same thing in my opening show in 2K23. It can happen to anyone. And I'll take a quote out of your book and say this. It's just one of the many hurdles a great GM must go through. Damn, guys, I appreciate you understanding my frustration. I'll try and forget about this. But only if that offer of you buying my ice cream later still applies, Barry. Absolutely, Donald. It just isn't going DIY's way so far in this series. Oh yeah, Joe, I can see that. Especially after the failed attempt at making a rivalry between the two in the first episode. Oh, for the love of God, I thought you guys had missed that. I think the both of us were just too triggered by you pushing theory to the moon again that we forgot to mention it. Nice to see a champion was actually crowned this time. Low key, if anyone deserves a title these days, it would be Bailey. I'll double down on that. If Bailey loses at Mania, I'll make a presidential arrest warrant for Triple H. Joe, you know you can't do I'm that. I'm the damn president. I can do whatever I want. Enjoy that power whilst you still have it. Yeah! Yeah! You look at that. Back to business as usual. With me in first place. It would be a different scenario if I hadn't botched that Seth match. And on that note, boys, let's head to Dairy Queen for some frozen goodness. The best kind of punishment one can have, which is why I suggested Your it. head usually isn't screwed right, Joe. But for once, you're actually cooking. And before we end the video, 
The creator wanted me to say he hopes you all enjoyed this year's WrestleMania. To him, it was an almost perfect show with pretty much everything that he wanted on the night coming to reality, to the point where Zayn dethroning Gunther was just an added bonus to him. Feel free to put down your favorite moments of the show in the comments below. I won't lie, even a superior intellect such as myself would be quite interested in seeing your takes on it. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you all in the next episode.